Hey guys, Mark here, Ring Words for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, today I've got a very brief message I want to go ahead and give it to you guys today. Um, a message of encouragement to my brothers and sisters who are out there. Um, I was just in my quiet time, um, and I just happened to be in the book of Psalms. And, um, and this just really jumped out at me, that, you know, we need to, you know, God is our help. And, it, and I want to encourage my brothers and sisters who are out here, who, um, Maybe going through, um, you know, a challenge of some sort. And a lot of times, and I find myself sometimes doing this, and God is helping me to, to, to I call it, change uh, um, my behavior in this way. That'll, that sometimes when challenges come up, we, we get into this mode of, of, of trying to go ahead and, and, and fix things ourselves without actually even asking the Lord anything or going or consulting the Lord or asking uh, God for help or even speaking to the Lord about our situation. And what I'm finding, folks, in my own walk with the Lord is that when I invite the Lord in into any situation that I may find myself, it could be a project that I'm working on um, <clears throat> or um, something that... Um, that I may not uh, have complete clarity on. That when I seek God's face and I ask him for help, the Lord always, <laughs> I'll tell you, the Lord shows up. And I want to encourage my brothers and sisters that right now, who may be you know, going through a situation, or maybe, I don't know, it may be something that, you, that you're, maybe a project you're doing at work. Those of you who are in, um, in, um, at school, and maybe there's a tough um, you know maybe that there's something that you're studying and you're not quite getting you know um, that you're not getting are you asking God are you going to the Lord for help are you asking God to the Spirit of God to help you to understand to open up the eyes of your understanding you know, that's one thing, folks, I'm realizing. That our walk with God is a walk in which, um, and this is part of, of, of relationship with the Lord. That we don't just seek God when there's a problem or there's an issue. But we incorporate God in every area of our lives. If you're a student, you know, ask the Lord for help. In whatever classes that you're taking and stuff like that, maybe there's, if the, like I said, you lack under, your understanding in, in, in a topic or a class that you're taking, you're having a hard time, have you asked God? It's great to go ahead and ask your teachers and ask other people and everything like that. But have you, have, have you, have you consulted the Lord also <laughs> for help? If you have a business, for, for those business owners that are out there, and you're trying to run your business, but there's issues that you're running into, or maybe you know there's um, um, you know a specific problem that you may be funding that you may have need to get, or whatever the case may be. Have you consulted the Lord? Have you consulted the Lord? Because the tendency that we have, I know my, myself, is that when when there's an issue that comes up, we jump into that mode of like, okay, you know what, I gotta I gotta figure this out, I gotta. Um, I've got to figure this out. I've got to go ahead and do this <clears throat> and come up with all kinds of ideas as to what we need to go ahead and do. But we never went ahead and asked God. And folks, what I'm realizing in my own life, um, when I pray and I ask God and I invite God in and I ask God on whatever the matter may be that I may, I may be in, um, and I ask the Lord for help. I can pray and ask God for help, and then once I'm done, you know, I just believe and have faith that God, God will help, and then I just go about my business. And you could be doing, folks, you could be driving your car, you know, you're in your car, and then all of a sudden the, the, the answer to what you prayed and you asked God for just drops, boom. <laughs> you know? Just the other day, I was just on a bike ride with one, one of my friends. We did a 10 mile bike ride, and I'll tell you, you know, when you're out there in the open air and stuff like that there, um, sometimes you, you would be amazed of when God speaks to you. You know, you can ask God, um, uh, pray for, for, for on a matter. And then, um, 
what's, what's interesting is that you may talk to a friend, right? You prayed for, you prayed on a matter. You may talk to a friend on something else. And then something that this person says, um, helps bring clarity to whatever issue that you may have. It's out of nowhere. God can use anything in anyone to help you in your personal situation. That's what I'm trying to encourage you on. You know, this walk with God is a walk that's like this, folks. That we're consulting God. We're inviting God into every area and every aspect of our lives. Whether it be at work, at home, our relationships, friendships, business, career, job, um, investments. Consult the Lord. God wants, you know, God wants to be involved in every aspect and every area of life. So I want to encourage you with this scripture. It's Psalm 1, it's uh, Psalm, Psalm 146. I was, I was just reading this, this, you know, this morning, just myself. And this is what it says. And I found this very, very encouraging. It says this, starting at verse 3, it says this. Well, starting at verse 2, it says, While I live... I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not, look, look, listen to this, folks. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Did you hear that? Folks, a lot of times we go ahead and we put our, our trust and our faith in man, in human beings. Um, for whatever... Um, you know, wherever we may find ourselves. And I'm not saying, folks, you, you, you can't consult anyone. But the, um, the idea is, is for you to go ahead and consult God first and allow God to bring that situation or that answer to you. And it could be through somebody else. You know, but, but you're not putting your faith and your hope and your trust in, you know, in man. But you're turning to the Lord. Putting out your trust... In princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath God of Jacob for his help. Let me say that. One more time. Happy is he who hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Wow. Which made the heavens and the earth, the seas and all that therein, and which keep and which keepeth truth forever. This is the Lord. This is the Lord in which we're putting our faith and trust. Who which executed judgment. For the oppressed, this is the Lord, <laughs> which executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord opened up the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the stranger. He relieveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations, praise ye the Lord. Folks, I'm going to end the visit right here. If right now that you, you have a situation or circumstance that you are in right now, and you've been, you know, mulling it over and trying to figure it out yourself, and you're running into roadblocks, you're running into, um, you know, uh, you, you, you just can't figure it out. But you haven't consulted God. My message today is for you to consult the Lord. It's to take that issue, or whatever it is that you're going through right now, to your prayer closet, take it to the Lord. And have faith and believe that the Lord will answer your prayer. The Lord knows all, understands all, um, 
any situation, any circumstance, he has the answer to it all. So I bless you guys. If this message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Jesus loves us, folks. Loves us and only wants the best for us. And um, so I love you guys. And folks, check out the uh, the shop. We have a I have a link below uh, to the shop. And there's many things out there, folks, that um, that I've uh, been working on. Haven't really talked about yet. I'm gonna probably do a video on that. Uh, but check out the things that we have on, on, on the shop. There's been a lot of things that I've added uh, to the shop that um, I, I think will be an absolute blessing to you. Share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. See you in the next video.